let's move on to Android. Uh, Alex, I'm just doing a quick time check. We may have mm -hmm. to move a little faster on the Android. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try to do faster. Starting now. Mm -hmm. Right, so uh, we have pretty much the same configuration here, uh, three different fragments representing uh, HTML, native display, and native video placements. Let's start by adding SDK to the project. We already downloaded the resource from IAP portal. So let's just copy the entire OMSDK Android to the libs directory and then change the Cradle settings uh, to include it as a dependency. And then we'll add the JavaScript. Create the assets folder for Ahmed JS service. Put the contents of it. Let me copy the entire thing. The next we'll add a utility class to load uh, to help us load the contents of the uh, OmniJS. I will return the contents, uh, the method will return the contents as a string. After that, we are ready to start impl implementation for the display, uh, uh, HTML display integration. So the main class we'll be making changes to is the add loader, which is responsible for downloading the HTML. What we'll need to make sure is uh, that Ahmed is available in, in the HTML. So we'll use the script injector to uh, include Ahmed in the HTML that we download it or receive from add response. After that, we'll add a utility class to help us uh, set up the add session. We'll start with HTML add session. Again, just like iOS, the first thing we need to do is uh, activate the SDK if it's not already activated. We'll check if it's active. If not, we'll try to activate it with the version uh, of the JavaScript service. Then we'll create add session configuration, uh, again, using native uh, uh, impression owner, a partner with the unique partner name. and the version uh, of your bundle. Add session context, which will accept the PEPU as a parameter. And then we are ready to return the add session. All right, now back to display add HTML fragment. We'll need an instance for the add session. Now we'll try to find the perfect place for us to actually uh, create add session. And uh, again, the important thing here is to not create the add session too early. The on on page finished is a perfect place for that. If you if if on page finished, it does not work for you. Uh, you can also use DOM loaded load uh, JavaScript handler to start the session. Uh, after the session is created, we can add friendly abstractions, uh, register 
the add. In, the, in this case, we're registering the web view as, as the web view to track geometry changes. And then we start the session and register impression. And finally, when the view gets destroyed, uh, we want to finish the session. That, that's it for HTML. Next, we'll do video. We'll go back to add session utility class and add a method for native add session. It takes is display as parameter because uh, the the method works the same way for uh, native and uh, for for display and video session uh, with a slight difference. So is display will help to uh, tell us if we need. Uh, native owner for video events. And then we'll create uh, an instance of verification script resources. We'll need a helper method for that. And just like iOS, the values are hard coded, but uh, an example of uh, app response is provided. Normally, you will get uh, in your implementation. You'll probably get these values from Vast, and there could be more than one validation verification script. All right, so this one is ready to go. Next thing we'll need is the native ad session context, takes partner, AmiJS contents, and verification scripts list as parameters, and we can we are ready to create the ad session and return it. Now in the video ad native fragment, we'll need to find a good place for us to actually call that create add session method, and then we'll need to create video add events. So on create view looks like a good place for that. We create the add session, we pass is display false because this is a video. And I create video add events and register add view and start the session. After that, we call the loaded event with uh, vast properties. Again, this is a non-skippable autoplay standalone video. So that's what we're passing in vast properties. And the last one here is the impression registration. Once that's done, uh, we need to trigger all, to make sure all video re relevant video events are triggering. We already have progress tracking here. Uh, start with a start event, and pass in duration and volume as parameters, and add in first quartile, midpoint, third quartile. Let's see where can, we can put complete. On state ended handler is the perfect place for that. And since we're not fully prefetching the video, uh, there may also be uh, cases of buffering. So we'll also uh, use buffer start and buffer finish events if the buffering prevented uh, the user from uh, seeing the playback. And then resume and pause events uh, for when the play pause button was used. Mm -hmm. And then finally session finish when the, uh, the view gets destroyed. And the last one here is the native ad. Uh, the native display ad. Uh, 
we just need the, uh, the instance variable for the add session. And again, on create view is uh, the right place uh, to create the session and start measurements. We'll pass display true, parameter, add friendly obstructions, and register native batter view with the add session. And after that, we just need to start the session and uh, trigger impression registration. And when the view gets destroyed, uh, we'll finish the measurements. So that's it for the implementation. And if we still have time, we can do a quick demo. Uh, yeah, let's do a quick demo. And yeah. yeah, so first we'll need to make sure that the proxy is configured in the emulator. So we can use Charles to track down every event that the validation verification script was sent in. Right now, when that is ready to go, let's open Charles. And we'll start with video this time. You can see that uh, the creative was requested and we are already firing events to uh, the dummy domain. Let's confirm that Amit is supported, session started, versions registered, and geometry change events are firing. The loaded event, start event. Uh, let's see if play pause uh, triggers resume and pause. That seems to be working fine. And then when the video finishes, the complete event was triggered. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to destroy the view. Geometry change and session finish. Maybe Alex, we can stop here mm -hmm. and move to the next section. Sounds good. Yeah. Thanks, Shelly. Thank you very much, Alex, uh, especially that you're on a different location altogether.